Hey, hello friends. Welcome to my channel, SAPSD and ABAP League Support. So today let's discuss about one more SAPSD enhancement, which is relevant to invoice by job. Okay, let me tell you what's the issue here. First of all, there is a customer. Okay. In that customer, the invoicing date has been maintained as last working day minus two. Right? That means the invoice will be created for the customer last working day minus two only. That means uh, let me show you in the calendar. You okay, can see in the May month, last working day is 31st. That is on Friday. So last working day minus two is that 31st, 30. Two days will be reduced. And then on 29th May, only invoice will be created for that customer. So invoicing date you can you can invoicing date maintained in sales area tab under billing document section so in the customer master level it has been maintained invoicing date so invoicing date is nothing but it's a factory calendar So factor can be designed in a way that invoice will be created for the customer last working day minus two. That is last working day minus two. For this customer in a month, thousands of deliveries will be created. And invoicing will take place on the last working day minus two only. So invoice happens only once in a month. So for this thousand deliveries, one invoice will be created. For all of these thousand deliveries. So one invoice for thousand deliveries. For example, and delivery contains 100 items right then uh, total items in 1000 deliveries will be 1 right? lakh items will be there So the problem here is that the whenever the invoicing badge job runs, so remember this, this will be created through the badge job only. You see invoicing job runs. So whenever the invoicing badge job runs, that time invoice will be created for this thousand deliveries. And those thousand deliveries, each delivery has hundred items. That will be equivalent to one lakh items. Yeah, one lakh items will be there totally. So the problem occurs here is that when system trying to create deliveries for sorry in a single invoice for thousand deliveries, there is a chance that system will go in dump. Okay, system will be unresponsive, unresponsive, and uh, therefore the invoice won't be created. In other reasons, the deliveries might be 200, 300, 
but still every delivery has 400 500 items are there in either of the situations more deliveries are less deliveries are and more items so okay let me tell you that either of below situation in case of hundreds of deliveries r r and n number of items in deliveries so either of the situations either of the situations there is a possibility that system will throw a timeout error due to this invoice won't be created for those thousand deliveries so invoice won't be created at all for thousand deliveries i'm just giving thousand deliveries as an example but in real time the deliveries might be even more 2000 3000 might be there items might be 2 lakhs 3 lakhs items also might be there right Either, either of these situations invoice won't be created but it has it has to create in any case so to uh, to overcome this issue and uh, to fulfill this business requirement we are going to do some changes so what we are going to do now we agreed with customer that i mean the client each invoice will be holding 200 deliveries suppose 1000 deliveries that has been picked in the batch up then what will happen 200 deliveries equal to one invoice so 1000 means so we are creating five invoices each invoice holding 200 deliveries so we agreed with the customer that we are we are going to create one invoice for 200 deliveries so how to restrict or create invoices the specified number here the number here is the 200 only so how to achieve this this is the requirement or enhancement thus we are going to discuss today okay so we know that the t code that we use to schedule batch job is so vf06 is to schedule batch job so program for this is that rv 60 rv 60 s bat and what this vf06 will do vf06 will schedule the r it will call the vf04 t code so program here is sd build deal so when we schedule a job in vf06 it will be scheduling one child job it will create one child job based on the program sd build deal is nothing but so vf04 so in this vf04 only in this program only we are going to add some logic to restrict creating single device for 200 deliveries so how to achieve that first of all let me open this uh, report sd build del r vf04 transaction code i am going to sc38 now now i am opening sd build del it's nothing but vf04 program click display okay scroll down there is one function model available here yeah the function model here is that sd collective run execute so first sd build del this function model has this sorry this report sd build del has the report it has the function model sd collective run execute let's double click on this function model open this function model if you open this function model we see one 
call customer function 009 so basically we have discussed so many enhancements so far in those enhancements we discussed about user exits correct similar way one more way of enhancing the standard functionality is with help of customer exits or customer function so to identify the customer exits it starts with call customer function and you see the number 3009 here this is the identifier here okay, this is that uh, call customer function and if i double click okay if you see here if you see here as per standard behavior system specified the limit as 1000 system specified the maximum documents limit as 1000 this maximum documents variable is used to create to decide how many deliveries or sales orders will be for one invoice so this is the deciding factor here remember these programs functional models will be triggered in case of invoicing batch job run only when we create in the invoice in vf01 that time this program won't trigger it's an completely background job functionality only right standard behavior is that system allows only for thousand deliveries only right so we are going to manipulate this one now so we are going to restrict it so as of now as of now it is thousand let's let's make it as 200 now so what i will do i will double click on this customer function 009 and uh, you see one include here and you see the exit here exit saplv 60p underscore 009 note down this one as well and here we see one include zx v6 pu 09 if i double click here let me double click this include okay you see here some code written here right some code written to update the maximum documents here okay let me note down this uh, code so with help of this code what we are doing we are manipulating the maximum documents from 1000 to 200 that's what we are doing now so this code will do based on certain customer remember this this is applicable to one of the sold to customer so that's what we are doing here we are validating the customer and sales area you see sales area vkorg vgweg and spart right so it's applicable to the sales area plus sold to customer wise because the sold to customer okay sold to customer might exist in different sales areas that's why in uh, tv arvc variable we should uh, maintain sales area plus sold to number plus maximum number of documents by maintaining these parameters in the tvs variable then we can call this tvs variable in the in our code and make it work for this combination of sales area sold to if both are satisfied then update this maximum number of documents the number so basically here we are going to maintain number 200 300 400 like this we will maintain so once sales area sold to party has been matched satisfied then we are simply updating the 200 here okay so 200 is getting updated to this variable so we are overwriting the thousand value with 200 so by adding this logic we are making that creating 200 delivery 200 for one invoice it's achieved through customer exits
hope this video will be very helpful to you friends that's it about this video we'll meet in the next video thanks everyone bye for now